Hello guys, welcome back once again. In this video, we'll try and create a Python peer-to-peer -peer chat application inside the Visual Studio using the assistance of OpenAI's ChatGPT. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. If you have, also make sure you share the video as well. So let's get straight into it. So as you can see, I've got Visual Studio 2022 opened. Yeah. So we can we we'll get started by going by creating a new project. Of course, if you don't have the, the Python workloads installed, open your Visual Studio installer and, and get that sorted out before you come to the video. If you don't have the Visual Studio, go to the official website and download and install it. Also add the Python while in, while the while you're while you're installing it. Okay. But if you've got everything sorted out, yeah, then let's go ahead and create a new project. This will be a Python application, yeah. It's just a, a project template for creating a command line application. Okay. So let's go ahead and configure our project. Uh, we're just gonna call it Python. So this um, this this project first, we're going to create um, three projects. So one will be a discovery server whereby the peers can register their connections and grab other peers' um, IP addresses and port numbers. Okay. So this this one will be. Um, Python server. So let's make let's make the solution name just Python chat, okay? So as you can see here now, we've got our first. I mean, our first project have uh, been created. So let's go ahead and add two more projects. Yeah. So yeah, let's right click it and add a new project. So this will be um, so Python chat here one. So this will be a first here. So let's go ahead and add another project as well. So it's the same Python application, okay? So here we're going to add. Um, Python chat dot peer two. So this will be the second peer or the, uh, the second client, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So see, now we've got our projects created. Let's go ahead and and and, and type in our command to um, chat GPT, open AI, whatever to create it for us, okay? So this is what we're going to do. But for this video, we're going to select the L3 mini, okay? So now, let's type in this command, create a Python G2P chat app using, so, First, we're going to select uh, the server dot pi um, as the discovery discovery server, and then um, the peer one and peer two dot pi, yeah. As both peers, okay. So basically, we're using the the, 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 the server dot pi as our discovery server, and then the, the peer one and peer two are as both um, both peers. Okay. So let's go ahead and enter. This will take a while for the um, for the whole thing to generate. Okay. So this is what is actually being generated for us. 
So below is a, is, a, is a complete example with three files that work together as a simple Python P2P chat application. Um, the discovery server, which is a python.server, lets peers register and discover existing peers. Both peers, um, peer1 and peer2, start a listener for incoming chats, register with the discovery server, and then automatically connect to any peer already registered. Okay. So this is the code for our first uh, um, discovery server. So let's go ahead and and select um, Python chat .server .py. So this is what we're actually selecting. So let's scroll down and then preview and accept the preview. So this will actually put um, the code inside here for us. Okay, so it's a, it's a bunch of stuff that we're going to have a look at later on. Okay, so the first class is obvious to chat discovery handler. So this actually ha handles that the, the peer discovery. Okay, um, taking a, um, a bunch of um, parameters, but we we have a look at it later on. Okay, so let's scroll down. This is our peer one. Yeah, so let's. Uh, let's select our peer one. Okay, so this is the peer one. So let's select um, peer one dot pi, and then preview it inside here. So this will actually add it here. So as you can see, this is registering. Um, it's actually going to listen from um, port six thousand and one, and it's also referencing the the known port of our um, discovery server, okay? So let's scroll down and look at what we've also got for the, uh, the second peer. So let's go for the peer2.py and then also um, preview it here. So this is what we actually got. So basically we've put all the codes inside our three projects here. So as you can see here, uh, it has given us some very um, an explanation. So let's have a look at what is going on here. So the discovery server, which is the Python server, it listens on port 5000 for peer registration. So when a peer sends a register command with its username, host, and port, it stores the information and responds with any already registered peer details or uh, no peers if none exist. Okay. So the peer one, okay. So um, each peer, um, the peer one and the peer two here. Yeah. So each peer starts a listener on its designated port, which is 6001 and 6002. 6001 for peer one and 6002 for peer two. So upon startup, the peer registers with a discovery server. And if the response contains another peer's info, automatically initiates a connection. Okay, so they both spawn threads to handle incoming messages and continuously takes console input to broadcast messages to all connected peers. Okay, so let's have a look at how it works. So we, let's go to the start here, expand it and then configure um, startup projects. So let's select multiple startup projects. So let's make sure we have the, the, um, the server as the start. If it's not, then you can you can move it up. So let's make sure you put everything as start, then apply changes. Yes, and then okay. So now we've created a multiple startup um, profile for this project um, for this solution. Okay. So let's go ahead and run it to see what actually comes out of it. So we should have um, three consoles opened. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and click on the start. So as we can see here now, we've got some things, um, some workouts. So we'll, let's wait for the whole thing. So as we can see here now, it's listening for peer 
connections on um, localhost 6002 and then let's have a look at the other one so as we can see here now we've only got one that is working and this is the error that we get yeah so no connection could be made because the target machine actively refused it enter message so what we're going to do is just going to stop it and then rerun it again so here we've got listening for um, peer connection on localhost um, 6001 so connecting to peer 2 at local host 2002 so basically this is the peer one let's have a look so we've got also got the peer two connected and let's have a look at the discovery server so the discovery server discovery server is running okay so let's have a look at um this so it's, it's saying here type as it to quit or enter your message so let's see if we enter any message what's going to happen so as you can see here now we've got um we've got this peer received the message that i just typed this is one yeah so let's be typing low and see again if you will come up so as you can see here now we've got um, um other peer being able to receive the, the message from the other peer yeah so you can go ahead and actually um, expand this further and add more functionalities to it to suit whatever that you're looking to do so as you can see uh, this is based on localhost it's not connected over the internet but in the time coming i'll try i'll try and and and, and, and do something about i mean connection over the internet so stay tuned and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and then please make sure you share the video as well if you can so once again thanks for your time and i hope you have a lovely morning evening afternoon wherever you are peace